ARLC kids, it's me, Pastor T, and we're talking about out of control faith. That's when we put God in control of every aspect of our lives and live life to the fullest. Now, in just a couple minutes, my kids will be here to tell you how you can enter to win a prize pack with really awesome games that you can enjoy with your friends and family. But first, let's dive into Hebrews chapter 11, which is called the Bible's Hall of Fame. Or is it the Bible's Hall of Faith? Oh, the reason these people are famous is because they had big, big faith in God. And today, we're going to talk about bigger and better. Who doesn't like better? In fact, somebody who had a better gift. In the Bible, gifts are often called offering. Uh, an offering is like a gift that we give to God to say thank you and we love you, God. So let's take a look at Hebrews chapter 11, verse 4, where we read that by faith, Abel brought God a better offering than Cain did. Wait a minute. God was comparing the offerings between these two guys, Cain and Abel? Uh, let's jump back to Genesis for a minute. In Genesis chapter 4, we learn that the first man and woman, Adam and Eve, had several children, and their first two were named Cain and Abel. Cain worked the land. He, he was a farmer. And Abel tended to the flocks like a shepherd. And Cain decided that he was going to bring an offering to God, a gift to God. So he collected up some fruits and vegetables and he brought them and made an offering to God. Abel also made an offering to God, but the Bible tells us that his offering included the, the tastiest parts of the firstborn animals in his flock. You see, God liked Abel's offering better than Cain's offering. No, no. God loved Abel's offering, but he didn't even like Cain's offering. Well, this really disappointed Cain, and he, he got all grumpy, and he kind of threw a tantrum, and God said, Cain, why are you upset? If you do what's right, I'll receive it. You see, the Bible doesn't say exactly why God didn't like Cain's offering, and it doesn't say exactly why he did like Abel's but we know that it had something to do with Abel's faith. Abel put God first. He decided that he wanted to give God the best. The, the, the stuff that, that most people would keep for themselves, he gave to God because he knew that God provided everything for him. And to this day, we remember the example, the testimony that Abel said when he gave God a better offering. There are three things I want to tell you about better offerings in the Bible. It doesn't have to do with how much they're worth. It has to do with our pure motives, our ability to catch the blessings of God and release them for God's glory and the benefit of others, and an enduring testimony. That means sharing the good news of Jesus today, tomorrow, and even beyond our lifetime by the example that we set. You know, I decided that I want to give God the best of my time, my talent, and my resources. I want to give God a better offering this year. That's how I'm living out my out of control faith. Here's Pastor Ani to tell you how you can choose to follow Jesus today. Choosing to follow Jesus is as easy as ABC. The letter A stands for admit that you've sinned. You know, we've all made bad choices. The letter B stands for believe that Jesus died on the cross for your sin. And the letter C stands for choose and that's what you can do today by simply repeating this prayer after me. To close your eyes, put your chin to your chest, and let's talk to Jesus together. Dear Jesus, I admit that I have sinned, and I ask you to forgive me. I believe that you died on the cross for my sin, and today I am choosing to follow you. Thank you, Jesus, for making me your forever friend. In Jesus' name, amen. 
That is so awesome. If you prayed that prayer with me today, make sure to have your parents help you email us at kids at rlclodi.com. If you just prayed that prayer, I'm super excited for you. Who knows? Maybe someday you'll be in a hall of faith. <laughs> now here are my kids, Abigail and Zachary, to tell you how you can enter to win a whole bunch of super cool games to play with your friends and family. Hey, chicken quesadillas. Today's question comes from Genesis chapter four. In what land did Cain go to live? It's that easy to enter win all these super cool games. Just turn to Genesis chapter four and answer this simple question. In what land did Cain go to live? Ask mom and dad to help you send an email to kids at rlclodi.com. Be sure to include your name, your age, your grade, and the answer to this simple question. In what land did Cain go to live? And you'll be entered to win these super cool games that you can enjoy with your friends and family. Well, I want to encourage you to take time to pray this week and ask God to show you how you can give a better offering of your time, talent, and resources so that you can live with out-of-control faith. <laughs>